So here's a first example of how to use uh, basic trig identities to simplify expressions. So we've got a couple of different expressions here uh, that we'll try and simplify. First one here, you have tangent times cosine, tangent theta times cosine of theta. Now, a, a good approach to this uh, might be to change any of them that aren't sine and cosine to equivalent expressions involving sine and cosine. So if you happen to know that tangent is the same as sine over cosine, if you make that change, and then you leave the rest of it the same. Okay, so I just replaced tangent with sine over cosine. What that allows you to do is you got sine over cos times cosine, divide by cos times cos, right? That cancels. If you need to imagine or want to imagine this cos as cosine over one, you can if that helps, and recognize then that you can uh, that you can just cancel out those two cosines. So that thing is equivalent to sine theta. Now, if you wanted to check that, what you could do is pick any kind of angle you want, sub it in here for each of those, and then do the same thing with this expression down here. You'll find uh, that it works. That's just a way of kind of verifying it. The other one over here, uh, if we're going to go about simplifying that one, we can do the same kind of thing here, which is any of these things that are not sine or cosine already, we're going to change them into expressions that involve sine and cosine. So we'll, we'll take those two things. Whoops, I forgot my x with my yellow there. So we're going to leave this alone, sine x. We're going to change secant into 1 over cosine x. We're going to change cotangent into cos x over sine x. It's the reciprocal of uh, cotangents, the reciprocal of tangent. So we're going to, you know, if tangent is sine over cos, cotangent is cos over sine. Oops. And then that last thing, we'll leave it as cos. Again, if you like to do this over one, you know, make it a, make it a, make them all into fractions if it helps keep track of it. Nothing wrong with that. And we'll do that for this one. And then you can see if there's anything that you can simplify. Well, if you multiply that all together, you're going to have this sign on top, that sign on the bottom. You have this cos x and one of these cos x's on the top, and that leaves you with just cosine, right? Because everything else is turned into ones. All right, so that simplifies to cos x. All right, so there's a first look at simplifying trig expressions using reciprocal and quotient identities. These two are fairly straightforward. Simple expressions don't require a lot of steps to simplify them. And now you're probably ready to move on to something a little more complex. All right.